Jonas, bring the action. What's up, YouTube? Jmart here in Vermont at an iconic location. This is a place where you want to travel to. This is a destination in itself. We are here at Al's French Fries here in Burlington, Vermont. And I got the cheeseburger. I got the French fries and I got the hot dog. And let's see what we got here, guys. The box. Three napkins, the perfect amount. The cheeseburger, the hot dog, and the French fries. Let's see what we got here for temperatures on these things, guys. The French fries, 118 degrees Fahrenheit. The cheeseburger is 107 degrees Fahrenheit. And the hot dog is, hot dog is 96 degrees Fahrenheit. So all of our food is hot, it's fresh. But before we go any further, the deadly, the elusive, the invisible napkin. We're gonna start off here with the legendary hot dog. We got mine with uh, onions. Here's my hot dog. Got a little bit of mayonnaise in there. <laughs> so, so healthy. It's good. It's a toasted bun. That all beef hot dog. I think, I have no idea. Tastes good. You come into Al's French fries, you're not gonna get you're not gonna get like gar garlic aioli or nothing crazy like that. This is simple backyard kind of good old fashioned fast food. Try a couple of these french fries. They're hot, they're fresh. They're crispy on the outside, they're hand cut. These aren't like, come down in a big giant frozen bag and just thrown in the fryer later. You can tell right here, right off the bat, that these are hand cut, fresh french fries. The fries were like $2.79. The burger was like under $3. The hot dog was under $3. Uh, with tax, this meal was under $10. This is the uh, cheeseburger. Here it is. There it is. Basking in 4K. The small burger, but it was cheap. I think for a double, it was a couple bucks more. Still cheaper than McDonald's. It's a good burger. It's not fancy, but you can make it fancy. You can add bacon to it, and you can add all these toppings, whatever your heart desires. I just went with a simple cheeseburger. Um, I want to get a little, a little try of everything. I want to try the french fries, I want to try the hot dog, I want to try the cheeseburger. Get a little bit of everything here. Look at all this variety. And look at all the prices are. You can't find a value like this. Hardly anywhere. Nowadays, Jmart's like Kmart, only cheaper. So I know a good value when I see it. This brings back the nostalgia from the 50s and the 60s, right here. This is the original laptop. I love these french fries, man. If you like Five Guys, you'll love these french fries. These are very similar. When you go into Al's, it's kind of like a diner from the outside, in the inside. It's, it's decorated like a diner. So how it works, you pull up, park a, you park your car. I don't think, I don't think they have a drive through here. And in the summer, they have ice cream also. Oh, excuse me. Maybe they have ice cream all the time, I don't know. You pull up, you walk to the register, go through the little corral, place your order. And then when they're cooking your food, they'll say, hey, what do you want in your burger? And you say, I want this, that, and that. They make it right there, right in front of you. It's cooked right in front of you. Nice and fresh, it's hot, friendly service. Good food, quality food, at a really good price. Fun place to take the family. If you're coming through Burlington, Vermont, heading to Canada, or just going skiing, and maybe going to Stowe. Uh, Stowe is where uh, Ben and Jerry's is. You gotta stop by, it's right off the highway, right off Route 89. Um, there's plenty of parking. Of course, it's free. This, I mean, 
I don't think there's such thing as paid parking in Vermont, you know? Um, okay, you got to check it out. It's one of those places you just, you just got to go. So uh, I give it my two thumbs up, guys. Thank you guys for watching. I love you, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.